Good morning, everyone. How did everyone sleep last night? Very good. Good, good, good. good. Hanging in there. <laughs> Well, first off, I have to say, welcome to Utah, where one day you can have an enjoyable Easter egg hunt out in the warm weather, and the next day, it's a blizzard! You know, this actually couldn't have worked out any better. This is, this is like the creme de la creme of weather planning. We have Brian and Missy and Jeffrey and Talia, Natalia, <laughs> not Natalie. I made that mistake once and I did not hear the end of it for about five minutes. Um, but we were planning like it would be so fun to go skiing and we've got fresh powder. Like I don't know if I've ever skied with like fresh powder so I'm so excited. We're gonna hit the slopes. Are you guys ready for round two of Utah skiing? This is crazy. Like it literally, it was like, Warm for Easter and cold for a ski day. It's perfect. Like seriously, the planets have a line because you guys are here. Please come more often so I'm the planets so can be in alignment. What's going on outside, Jackson? Snow. Snow. It's snowing. Is that so fun? It's snowing. Are you gonna play in it today? Yeah. Are you gonna have fun? Yeah. You gonna make snowballs? Yeah. Snow angels? Yeah. Just don't eat yellow snow. Can you say yellow snow? Yellow snow? Yeah, don't eat that, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and it's all one story, so it's like super nice like 40. One story, 4,300 square feet. So, yeah. Yeah, it's... <laughs> all right, everyone, welcome to the party bus. We're gonna have a really great day today. My name is Jared. Hi, and I'm excited to have you in my vehicle today. So I just want to make sure everyone's uh, fastened up and ready to rock and roll and we'll go have a good time, okay? Let's go hit the mountain. It's going to be very enjoyable. I'm glad you're here with me, guys. Let's do it. Everyone got their party faces on? All right. Hey, Finlay, 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 Finlay. Put your party face on, man. Come on. It is a beautiful day on the mountain and even more beautiful is my wife it's right here. It's so cold. I've never skied with this actually snowing. This is fun. The, we just did our first run on the bunny hill. Mwah. And it's like, it's so fun to ski in fresh snow. But I'm really excited because today is like my first time teaching a class. The snow basin actually asked me to teach a what? class today. So I'm teaching a class of all these new skiers. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I'm just waiting right here for my class to show up. It's gonna be great. I'm excited. Are you ready, Ellie? <laughs> so my first two students have shown up. They're the only ones who are actually on time. We've got the Sly Fox fam here. They're the ones who are on time for class. Everyone else is tardy, and that's minus 50 DKP points, okay? You, you guys aren't here for the class? No. Oh, okay, okay. If, if you guys do want to join the class, I'm, it starts in just a couple minutes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we got the rest of the crew here for your first skiing lesson. Well, I guess you, this is actually your second skiing Third lesson. Third skiing lesson. Third skiing lesson. Guys, I feel honored to be able to be your teacher today. We're going to have a really great time. Uh, just first things first, we want to make sure that you guys are safe on the slopes. Uh, you know, don't go out any outside any boundaries. Make sure you're always clipped in unless you're on a lift and this everything. This one has an R, so it's for my right foot, right? Yeah, that's exactly okay. right. Good job, Ryan. You remember hey, that one's from the for last my right lesson. foot too. Yep. Okay. So Ryan actually has two right feet. Don't tell him, guys. And uh, are you guys ready to hit the slopes? Yeah. Everyone excited? Okay, let's go on the bunny hill. Okay, I'm going on the little hills, and Jared should be right behind me. Everyone looking here, say Ellie farted. Ellie hey. farted. Good job, Ellie. <laughs> Staking up, the, up the, gondola. the gondola. I think you're mean. <laughs> oh, good. We have the window open. We're just hanging out in the gondola. Everyone's having a really good time. No one is nervous, right? Brian, are you nervous about what we're about to do? Hitting up a couple black diamonds. I, I've been lying to him this whole time. <laughs> perfect, perfect. See, you kept control the whole time. Jared is the most patient teacher, so our kids are going are very lucky that they have Jared as a dad. See, you're killing it. Because you, he's up there showing, um, helping the boys come down the hill. But we're just skiing, it is snowing. Look at the beautiful trees. I don't even know what you can see because it's like white here. The boys are back there, I'm meeting up with the girls. 
they're snowboarding. I commend snowboarders. I think this snowboarding would be hard for me. I don't think I'd be able to do that. Woo! What do you guys think? Awesome. You guys are killing it. You guys are doing good. I've done this before. Woo! Oh, look at it. Look at that powder. I'm honestly kind of frustrated because I didn't want Brian and Missy to come up and have a, another kind of bad experience on the mountain. And of course we went a different way and hopefully everybody comes out of this alive. But we're literally <laughs> cutting out of the mountain. I'm just gonna need a massage. <laughs> oh my God. <gasps> oh brother. Okay, we'll be down in a few hours. Hey, Jared's paving the way. Good yeah, job. I did it. You did it. This is real life frozen. This is frozen in the wilderness. This is, isn't it? Yeah, he's Kristoff. I'll be, uh, I'll be Sven. Okay. You can be Anna. Okay, I'm Anna. We are literally frozen. Like, this is, this a... is kind of a bee. <laughs> this is beautiful. Jared and I have skied more this winter than we ever have, and we have grown to really love it. I like skiing because I think it is almost therapeutic because it's quiet. Do you have yours? You're in the woods, it's white. It's just beautiful. I love it. I know what I'm going to get for lunch. What's that? It is the yummiest thing. I got it last time. It's so yummy. Oh, where is it? What is it called? I'm so mad. Sad day. I'm mad. I'm sorry. Are you gonna sit by grandpa? Yeah. You like your grandpa, huh? Grandma. And grandma. I hope you like grandma. <laughs> yeah. oh, two thumbs up for grandma. That's great. <laughs> usually every Monday night, you guys may know that we try and do like a family night. We'll usually sit down and have dinner together and we'll have a little lesson and then sometimes play a game. So like three weeks ago, um, we sat down with Jackson and Calvin. We talked about listening to your parents and then we played that little ball game. Calvin didn't do a good job because he still won't sleep at night. <laughs> Last week, um, I don't think we filmed it, but we were here at mom and dad's house and Bonnie and Joel were here and we were talking about doing a little little bit better than you were doing before going from good uh, going from bad to good and good to great and just kind of doing a little bit better every day well today's lesson is a little bit different we're talking about fire safety and being prepared for when a fire comes we're actually teaming up with Red Cross to talk about this a little bit too so dad I was wondering if you might be able to show me where your smoke alarms are okay well we have one in every bedroom okay one in the hallway Okay, Jackson, are you ready for this? We're gonna we're gonna test Grandpa's smoke alarms, okay? <laughs> and it's gonna be really loud. Can you plug your ears real quick? Good job. Okay, let's hit the button. We're gonna test it. Ready? <gasps> oh, did you hear that? Uh, what do you think about that? That's a, that's a smoke alarm. That's gonna tell us if there's a fire in that, if we need to get out. If we have to get out of the house, Jackson. Now you guys had a specific place that you guys set up for when you guys had, uh, in, in case of a fire, right? Where, where was we that, Ellie? go to the lamp post uh, at the end of the street. Uh -huh. the sack. Okay. So we'd meet there. So your whole family knew and the that fire wasn't plan. Just and the whole family. That was like the neighborhood. Like all the neighbors knew that that's kind of like where we would all meet. So Jackson, do you remember that sound? Mm. Whenever we hear that sound, you know what we're gonna do? When we're at Grandma's house, we're gonna go to the light post. Mm. And we're, yeah, at the post, and we're gonna do it as fast as we can. Okay. Okay. And you're gonna make sure you're all cleaned up too. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our little lesson. Here's a little lesson Two, on fire safety three. and what to do. I challenge you guys to check your smoke alarms and make sure you do it at least once a month. And then also to have like a little fire escape plan in the event of an emergency. If you guys want more information about this and what you and your family can do, I'll have a link to it down below. But this was a fun little, little this family fun. lesson. This, our kids are young, but same reason why we talk about no hitting and no yelling and no all sorts of other things is because
they need the lesson a million times. <laughs> I think it's good to have these lessons because one, like repetition is key and also two, to be like even more prepared. Oh my gosh, look at this. Ah, I just threw a turn at you. Just kidding. It's not poop. They're just exactly aerated, like poop. aerated turds. They're little aeration. <laughs> Guys, we just put the kids to bed and now we are going out to dinner. I don't know if we can show it. So where does you see it? Ruby River. Uh, was, was it four years ago, five years ago, Ellie and I came in here at, for our anniversary dinner. And we actually carved our names in the wall. And I'll see if I can find it. I know we just we just showed like maybe a year ago we showed it to you, but I'm gonna see if I can find it again. Kelvin, Kelvin does pretty good at naps lately, but I don't know what it is at my mom's house. If I leave, like if I put him down for a nap and I leave, he sleeps forever. She said that he slept till like one o'clock. Are you I put kidding? Put him down at like nine. Jack Calvin? Yeah. What? Yes. We should put him down for naps at your mom's house more often. I know, and then before I left, mom was feeding him a bottle and he fell asleep for the night. So thank you, mom and dad, for being there while the kids sleep, while Jared and I and everybody go out to dinner. So we are all here. Yes. We are so excited. You have fun uh, snowboarding. Yeah. You guys did so good. I was really impressed with everyone's to performance tonight. <laughs> Were you? Okay. Especially Cassie. It was pretty I, good. Like, uh, you our coach. Yes, coach yeah. Jared oh, I forgot to say. Class dismissed. Class dismissed. <laughs> like Mr. <laughs> Mr. Feeney. Did we pass? <laughs> yes, I have Mr. Feeney. Yeah. We're sitting by a fire. We heard the fire alarms. And we were like, we've been talking about fire alarms. Fire safety. And we were doing fire alarms. Like, what a crazy random happenstance. We did one today, too. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's like stop talking. We just thought it was funny. I'm coming upstairs to where they had our little romantic seating here for our anniversary. And I'm gonna see if I can find it. I wanna say I did it right here. And let's see. There it is, there it is. Do you see it? Do you see it guys? I don't know what that is. I think that's an accident. That's J and E. Do you guys see that? Jared and Ellie. It's just fun to go through and remember all of the fun things that you've done together. I mean, Ellie and I are coming up on seven years of marriage. Is that crazy? I'm tripping all over the place. I'm living in a place where I'm shivering when I'm outside. <laughs> Why am I living in a place where I'm shivering when I'm outside? It's so cold. <laughs> Yesterday was beautiful. Today was is freezing cold, which made it for great skiing, but not for walking outside. We were just about to walk into the movie theater if the doors will open, and we're gonna go see Allegiant. Allegiant. Yes. You know, the more that I think about it, it's actually my fault that I was freezing. I'm not even wearing a coat. It's true. Okay. It's true. It's true. Stupid we're Jared. Going to... Two hours later. Jared, what was your what what would your power be? <laughs> But we just finished with the movie, and to be honest, I, Jared and I used to love going to movies. That's what we would do tons before having kids, and I almost can't enjoy them because I sit there just and think about, about the kids. The kids. Yeah. Like, I don't like worry or stress. I just think about them. So, I don't know. I'm really anxious to get home, even though they're home and in bed. They're asleep. <laughs> um, the ending of the what is it called again? We don't want to give any spoilers. Well, I won't. But what is it called? Allegiant. The end of the Allegiant wasn't my favorite. It ended, and I was like. That's how it ended. Um, anyway, I love the series, but we're on our way home. I think we're going to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.